Hey, don't know how you found me, but it's me, Van, and I have a guest with me today. What? <laughs> you do? Yeah. What? This, what? Who's I just, that? I found this little guy. Huh? Huh? And I grabbed him. Me? And then I put him in the chair next to me. What? Yeah, this is Ray. Everyone, welcome Ray to the channel. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ray. Um, and today we are playing Cooking with Belmont. I can't wait to cook up some tasty, delicious meals that definitely are all real food for humans to eat. Yeah, um, it's looking rough, but hopefully we'll get a good ending because we're not going to replay for other endings. I like the little, like, weasel on that guy's shoulder. If that's a little ferret! Oh fuck, it's a ferret. <laughs> yeah. It's like a different ferret! He's really cute. Anyway, yeah, um, as far as I know, we are trying to cook for a party and not make it a disaster. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do it. <gasps> Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> who's, I don't know. Who's gonna be do this, wanna be this white boy Wednesday? I, I can be the white boy. I don't know. I, I'll, okay, I'll be Merritt. Okay. Hey. Hey, did you pick up the birthday present? The one I told you about? Yeah, I just bought it on the way home. Are you done getting the groceries? Whoa, they're domestic. Wow. I mean, I know he literally has a ring on his finger, but like... How sweet. They're domestic. Not yet. That's why I called. These eggplants don't look so fresh. Are you sure you can't do without them? I really need them. Are they that bad? If there are brown spots, I can cut around them. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Just buy an extra and I'll probably have enough. Got it. I'll be home in 20 minutes. See you soon. <laughs> I'm Merritt Norwood. That guy on the phone was Belmont. You're probably wondering how I got in this situation. <laughs> Belmont is the man who changed my life. Once upon a time, Belmont and I were the worst enemies, but now, somehow, he's becoming something else entirely. Wait! Oh, oh so they're not like... Like, what? what's Ooh, the situation? Okay. It's kind of... More complicated Weird than Weird little thought. situation ship going on. Okay, cooking with Belmont. We live in the north sphere of the Chicago underground. There's never a moment of peace down here. But tonight is our friend's birthday party. Tonight, all that exists is food and friendship. And I'm going to make a great meal for the people I care about. Yay! You're looking a little dry, Charles. Would you like some water? Uh, <laughs> please, you, please, 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 please. Leaf. Oh, oh. Please Charles. <laughs> You're so talkative today, Please Charles. Please water me, Leaf. Leaf. Hey. You're early. Hey, yo! <laughs> Were you able to find everything at the grocery store? Every last item on your list, honey. Are they married? Like, Whoa. what is the situation? Come on. Oh my god. You're the best. I can always count on Belmont. If he says he's going to do something, he does it. Sometimes I'm better off not knowing how he does it, but that's another matter. Anyway, this was just grocery shopping. I'm sure he didn't pull anything shady. No. Oh. Mostly sure. Oh, no. Ugh, you wouldn't believe the wait at the store. What wait? You got home early. Only because I pulled a few strings to jump the line. Do I want to know what you did? Probably not. I want to know. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Okay, so the guy in front of me was that military captain who used to hassle you when he outranked you. He and his lady had four carts of groceries, and I sure as hell wasn't waiting for that. So I grabbed a bottle of perfume and a romantic 21st birthday card off the shelf. And I slipped them into <gasps> his cart. His lady started unloading the carts. She saw the card and perfume and flipped out on him. The scandal! Wow! He swore up and down that he didn't have a 21-year-old mistress. But see, I'd seen him out a few times with a younger woman, so I knew he couldn't pull off the lie. Hello? Anyway, his lady was so mad, she stormed out, and he went chasing after her. And then the conveyor belt was all clear. I can't believe That's you. So fucking funny. <laughs> hey, it's Ashland. Don't tell me he didn't deserve it. Dots. Well, this is Belmont, my boyfriend. I'm so obsessed with him. 
He's so funny. Belmont, my beloved. He may not look it, but to this day, I believe he's the most dangerous man in the Chicago underground. Whoa. Down here, he's known as the master of the three Bs. Bribe, bed, and blackmail. Whoa! Oh, wow. They call him the Gossip Queen because he always knows everyone's deepest secrets and just how to use them. In a world of treacherous criminals and shady deals, Belmont is the boss. Each crime sphere in the underground is led by a king. When Belmont and I first met, he was the king's right hand, and I was just a soldier. What is this? Oh, wow. Lore? Holy, Holy shit. shit. Uh <laughs> huh. Um. Sweats. I caught the king's eye, and Belmont felt so threatened that he tried to have me killed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Wow. Shit. He thought I was trying to steal his spot as the king's second in command. We played one hell of a cat and mouse game, but he couldn't catch me. Oh my Damn. god. His hatred turned to respect, then to friendship, then to love. Ooh! I finally learned who he really was. Who I really was. Hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he ended up catching me after all. Oh! Oh wait, that's you. Ah. I got you a little something on the way home. Oh, is this? Yep. Fresh tap water from the subforest glen. Tap water? Tap uh, water. I don't even know what to say. Thank you. Oh, okay, that was genuine. <laughs> wow, huh. Okay, lore. The <laughs> yeah. world building. Belmont knows exactly how much I care about good water. Subforest Glen has some of the best tap water in the underground. <laughs> Why was he carrying around a glass with him? Like, did he, like, leave the house and pick it up? And yeah, wait a minute. Useful? How did he pocket that? Right. How did he transport that conveniently? And, like, hide it from his boyfriend? What is going on? <laughs> no, because he had, like, a the grocery bag in the back. That is so... nonsense. You know what? I'm not going to think about it too hard. It's amazing. Here, Charles, have a sip. Uh, Good, right? Leaf. Leaf. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. Charles is our adopted son. He knows the importance of proper hydration. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'll unload these groceries while you put your weapons away. I can help you unload. You're just looking for an excuse not to put your weapons away. I'll put my weapons away. I'm the cook in this house. Belmont is a disaster in the kitchen, but I can always trust him to pick up the groceries. Well, as long as I give him very detailed instructions. Oh, no. Linguini looks like that spaghetti. Don't get spaghetti. <laughs> uh, wait, I, don't, I do want to see this. One bottle dry white vin uh, white wine. Not the same as white wine vinegar. Baking powder, not the same as baking soda. <laughs> that one's too real, though. Yeah. That one is a real mistake. Me, after watching you make pancakes and be like, what's wrong with this? And me taste it and be like, you put... Baking soda in it is what's wrong with it. <laughs> Look, I, I'm i not the smartest. <laughs> Six ounce bittersweet chocolate, not chocolate chips or powder. Call me and I'll explain. <laughs> See the appendix for instructions on how to pick oh, them? Oh, wow. Okay. One head of garlic. A head is a full bulb made of cl multiple cloves. Make sure you're counting heads and not cloves. Don't text me to say you're getting head at the grocery store. I know you were just about to. <laughs> a head of garlic is also called a knob. I thought you'd enjoy that. <laughs> They're so fucking funny. Wow. All right. All right, weapons are stowed. That was fast. Hey, I just wanted to double check. Are you sure you picked up the right present for Pogo? Yep, right there on the counter. It's exactly what you wrote on the list. You already wrapped it? Yeah, why? I just wanted to check it, because when I texted you what to buy, I couldn't tell if you knew what it was. Doesn't everyone know? You'd think so. I'm sure Pogo will get a lot of use out of it. Oh, I don't doubt it. Pogo is... let's call him a mutual friend. Half the time, we'd rather mutually toss him out a window, <laughs> but he's not a bad guy, just a little annoying. For real. So what are we making for Pogo's big birthday dinner? We? Yeah, I thought I'd give you a hand in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Belmont has been an elite his entire life. He's always had servants to tend to him, so he never learned how to cook. Ooh. 
Oh. I, on the other hand, grew up with nothing. I was an orphan, so I was drafted into the North Sphere military before I was even through puberty. Jesus. What the fuck is going on in Chicago, apparently? No, because when we started this game, I was like, oh, this is gonna be a goofy little, like, lighthearted. Why do we what have this, lore? this heavy world building with right. intense lore? When I was a teenager, I worked in the mess hall. Our food was pretty horrible. But then I got my hands on some pirated cookbooks from the surface. Oh, okay, so they meant literal underground. They're I thought literally... they meant, like, criminal underground. No, they're literally underground. Okay. <laughs> I taught myself how to cook, and I started secretly altering our recipes just so I could see my fellow soldiers enjoying their meals for once. Aww. I've been told I'm a good cook. It always makes me happy to hear that, but I'm no professional. I just do my best. I rarely have the time to cook, but today is special. It's my day off, and I don't get those very often in this crazy, warring underground world. No fires to put out today. No battles to be fought. I'm looking forward to spending some time at my neglected stove. You didn't answer my question. Let's unload these groceries! I should check and make sure everything looks alright. Ooh, what should we check? Oh, we should check all of it, but first... I think the eggplants, because we're like con we were concerned about them over the phone, weren't we? Oh yeah, that was the, the main thing we were talking yeah. about recently. All They're right. like super important. These eggplants aren't bad at all! I can definitely use them. Yeah, I managed to find a few good ones. I would have given it up if you hadn't insisted it was important. What are they for, anyway? Side dish. Sautéed eggplant in a light garlic side sauce. Side dish? All this fuss <laughs> just for a side dish? Me too, Belmont. <laughs> Pogo wanted it. It's the only thing he requested. Oh, uh, Really? When I asked what he wanted to eat for his birthday dinner with us, he texted back three eggplant emojis. Oh. oh. Oh, Merit. <sighs> Merit. Oh. Okay. Oh, Merit. My poor. <laughs> I don't want to say this. <laughs> yeah, this feels like so. Ugh. This feels too explicit. My poor sweet vanilla bean. <laughs> Ugh. What? Um. Okay. What are we checking? I don't know. I'm curious about the pasta. Yeah, let's check the pasta. Linguini looks good, except... Huh. What? Did I get it wrong? No, it's alright. It's just... This is lentil pasta, so it tastes a little different. I'll have to adjust the recipe to match the flavor, but it's no big deal. Ew, I'm glad I checked. Check the chocolate. <laughs> What'd you say? Please. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why did you get so much chocolate? This is three times what we need. Having extra isn't such a bad thing, is it? Belmont likes to pretend he doesn't have a giant sweet tooth, but you should see him sucking down Cosmopolitans at the bar. Oh. I should check in- oh, okay, I read that. Oh, okay, the wine. Hmm. Something wrong? I needed white wine for the seafood linguine. This is red. Come on, dude. Hey, don't look so sad. I got your Sauvignon Blanc right here. Oh! ah, you're the best! But why did you get the Merlot, then? It was the last bottle on the shelf, and Troy was eyeing it, so I swiped it right out from under his snooty little upturned nose. Belma is- <laughs> I'm obsessed. I, I love him. I want to study him. <laughs> that wasn't very nice of you. It sure felt nice. Belma can be a little petty sometimes. But I can't say I mind seeing him torment my old tormentors every once in a while. Torment my old tormentor. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Okay, all the groceries are accounted for. Belmont did a great job. Whew, what a relief. Hey, you seem a little wound up today. Is everything alright? Everything's fine. Nah, I don't buy it. Come on, what's wrong? Ugh, I don't know. It's just... I don't know if I have the energy for tonight. Aw, uh, why not? It's Pogo. I know it's his birthday, but... Pogo is... a lot. Don't get me wrong, I love him to death, but he's just... exhausting. Yeah, I know. And then there's Samson. <sighs> that grumpy bastard. 
I wouldn't call him that. Sorry, how about cantankerous bastard? Samson is Pogo's companion. I couldn't have a birthday for- or I couldn't have a birthday party for Pogo without inviting them both. Besides, or is it Samseed? I don't know. Or Samseed. Samseed! I'm gonna say Samseed, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. Besides, Samseed and I go way back. He was even my boss when I lived in the East Sphere. We've had a tricky relationship at times, but I've always respected him, and now I consider him a great friend. Belmont, on the other hand, I don't know if he and Samseed would ever will ever get along. That's the real problem. They still see each other as mortal enemies from rival spheres. I've lost track of the number of times they've tried to kill each other. Literally. It's always up to Pogo and me to keep the peace between them. Samson's not bad once you get to know him. He's just hard to please. Don't tell me you're still obsessed with trying to impress him. I kind of am. Compliments from Sanseed are special. He's brutally honest and he never flatters anyone, so when he praises you, you know he means it. And then there's this- Oh, don't start going on about his smile. <laughs> you and your old schoolboy crush. You know it's not like that. I don't feel that way about him. Yeah, I know. But you still blush whenever he smiles at you. It's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I've never cooked for him before, but Pogo's always going on and on about how good a cook I am. I have a lot to live up to. You'll be fine! I know how good you are. You have nothing to worry about. Hmm, maybe. I just can't help worrying. Hmm. Hey, so I know I said before that I wanted to help you cook, but hear me out. I have an even better idea. Hmm? How about if oh, I no. do all the cooking? Oh no, oh no, no. <laughs> <laughs> the music! Ah. <laughs> uh. If I cook, then you don't have to worry about impressing Samson. If it's good, it's good, and if it's bad, I'll gladly take the blame. <laughs> oh no. Oh. That was like a Phoenix right, like. <laughs> right. What's with that look? Oh. oh. What? I still remember the very first time Belmont cooked for oh, me. No. <laughs> no. The trauma. Right. It was so sweet of him to try to wake me up with pancakes, but he ended up waking me with the smoke alarm instead. Oh no! But I'll give credit where credit is due. He can pour a mean glass of water, and that's important. <laughs> Why don't you want me to cook? How do I put this tactfully? I don't think we bought enough groceries to feed the entire fire department. How dare you! Come on, I've been studying up! I'm a much better chef than the last time I cooked for you. You mean the time you put the frozen pizza in the broiler instead of the oven? Or the time you added cumin to my oatmeal because you thought it was the same as cinnamon? Or the time you thought one-fourth teaspoon vanilla and hot chocolate sounded wrong, so you added one-fourth cup and got the neighborhood <laughs> neighbor kid drunk? <laughs> what is happening? Yeah, you know. Or the time you set your spatula on fire? Or the- I'm better than all those times, okay? <laughs> Come on, give me a chance. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea. But you said yourself that you didn't have the energy for this. I just want you to be less stressed. I don't think your cooking is going to make me less stressed. <laughs> I'm serious. This should be an obvious decision. No one would want to eat Belmont's cooking. But he looks so sincere. Maybe I should quiz him a little to see how much he's really been studying. Okay, how about you answer a few cooking questions for me? And if I like your answers, maybe I'll let you cook. Deal. Then tell me. Oh no, what are oh, we gonna dear. quiz him on? Um, I think spices are the thing he's the worst at so far from what I've heard. Vanilla and the cumin incident? Yeah, that seems, yeah. That seems particularly damning. Hold on, I'm gonna save. <laughs> This is so important. This is so fucking important. We have to save. Okay. Let's do spices. How much onion powder equals one teaspoon dried minced onion? Whoa, wait, wait a second. You can get onions in powdered form? That's amazing. 
Oh, honey. That answer didn't exactly inspire confidence, but it was also a hard question. Maybe I should give him another try. Then tell me. Oh, uh, uh, cooking time. Yeah, I need to know. How do you know when meat is done cooking? The same way you know when anything is done cooking. When it explodes! Girl, what? <laughs> Dude. Uh, I don't follow. It's one of the universal facts of life. How do you know when a war is done? Explosion. What is you? <laughs> How do you know when a story is done? Explosion. How do you know when sex is done? Every one of us is on our own hero's journey, following the rising tension on our way to that coveted climax. You really... Freak. You really compared everything to... Freak ass? All right. You know exactly what I'm talking about, don't you, Charles? No, I, please don't talk to me. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you should cook. Ever. Oh, come on. You really think I can't do it? I just want to make things a little easier for you tonight. Hmm. I know I can make this dinner party perfect if I cook on my own. And it has to be perfect. But Belmont means well. Maybe I'm being unfair. If I let him cook, I'd prove that I trust and value him. And I'll probably be a better host if I'm not worn out by cooking. But you might end up with nothing for dinner. If I cook, I know the food will be just right. It's a sure thing. And I'll probably finish early, so then I'll have extra time to spend with Belmont before Pogo and Sam would get here. It's a lot of work, but I know I can do it. Then again, Belmont did a good job getting the groceries. A great job. Well, oh, that was just the groceries, though. Yeah. Hold on. And he brought a little extra of everything. Maybe if I help coach him through things, we can make some really good food together. And if he screws something up, we have enough ingredients to try again. Well, assuming he doesn't blow up my entire kitchen or something. Well? What should I tell him? Whatever I decide, I'm going to have to live with it. Oh! Alright, let's, let's, uh, debrief. Mm -hmm. What are we thinking? Obviously, we have to make chaos happen. Right. So, what are you leaning toward? Oh, man. Because I think if we, if we're just going to play one route, why would we just do I'm cooking, you know? Right. No. I want to see what happens when he cooks, I'm not going to lie. Just him on his own? Yeah. <gasps> I think it'd be really funny. I, in my head, I was like, we should probably do, like, cooking together. It's probably, like, a good balance. That but... would be cute. It would be a good balance. <sighs> All right. We'll let him cook. <laughs> let him, let cook. him cook. Let him cook. Fine, you can cook. Really? Yes, I trust you. Oh, honey, I'm gonna make you the best fish cake you've ever had in your life. No. Fish pasta. Chocolate cake. <laughs> oh, right. Well, let me get started. Oh, no. Something tells me I'm going to regret this. Oh, dear. I don't know, Charles. Did I make the right choice? Leaf. No, you didn't. Leaf. <laughs> <laughs> what? Leaf, leaf. Leaf. Didn't say anything, Leaf. Terror strikes my heart. Oh, dear. I hear the sound of a blade piercing the flesh of an eggplant. Over. And over. And over. Ugh, these sound effects. Too many cuts. An impossible number of cuts. Oh my god. Uh, uh. Has he massacred the eggplant? Oh no. I'm afraid to look. You okay there? Perfect! Here's the menu for tonight. We're starting with a vegetable tray appetizer. No cooking required. I already chopped the vegetables, made the dip, and chilled it overnight. <laughs> that looks so fucking good. That I looks wish I could delicious. have it. Oh my god. Would you like to explain to everyone why you can't have it? Because I'm allergic to raw fruits and vegetables, and half that plate would kill me in an instant. And mm. I want it so 
fucking bad. I'm so sorry. It's so upsetting. I want it so bad. Let's get this temptress off the screen. Oh my god. We need to hurry. It's still on there. We'll get it off. We'll get it off. So Belma only needs to make three things. There we go. First, oh the main course. A seafood linguine. No, I want that really bad too, but I'm poor. <laughs> Second, the side dish. Sautéed eggplant and a light garlic sauce. Fuck, we don't have enough time to make eggplant ever. And third, dessert. Four individual chocolate lava cakes. Oh, we can get, Wait, we can just get the dominoes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> brain's really connected. Huh? <laughs> You're like, oh, obviously we can just get a yeah. lava cake at Domino's. Oh god, okay. Yeah. Slay. Um, I need to know what people's opinion on lava cakes are because I tried it and it was okay. They're fine. It was mid, but like, <laughs> I need to know if people are like, I can imagine love. craving one, but like, I don't think I'd ever go out of my way to I get think it's one gonna be one I of those. Really yeah, I think it's gonna be one of those things where I like crave it and then I get it and then i'm like why did i crave it that's like me with wings yeah when i eat wings and i'm like i actually really don't like chicken <laughs> yeah they're just foods like that and lava cakes is one lava cakes are one of them can i get a pizza can i get a pizza from, from domino's, domino's and, and one lava cake, cake. I, I love, love you. you i will help you pay it back i need to edit in that video <laughs> yeah <sighs> anyway if we want this dinner party to be perfect, all four of these dishes need to be great. And of course we need to give Pogo a great present. Belmont started with the side dish. Step one, chop the eggplants. It already doesn't sound like it's going well. I'm worrying too much. I need a distraction. Oh god. Oh, where was that book? You're measuring out the spices, right? With a measuring spoon? Don't be a backseat cooker. <laughs> Of course! Jack asked, But what will you give me in exchange for my cow? The man replied, I have five magic beans! Is that Jack and the Beanstalk? Yeah, we just got a book of old above ground fables at the library. I thought Charles would like the Beanstalk. He deserves to see himself in the media. Aww. <laughs> so silly. Representation matters. Right, Charles? Leaf representation matters, Leaf. Leaf, Leaf. <laughs> you know how the story ends, right? Um, uh, I'm gonna put I think, okay. because I feel like that's what in character for him. Yeah. You know, I think? I don't remember for sure, but I know it had a happy ending. <sighs> um, Merit? No spoilers! <sighs> <laughs> I swear, they make the holes in these bottles small on purpose. But on the bright side, I'm working out all my most important muscles. I just need to shake a little harder. Oh no, it's gonna open up. <sighs> I knew it. What was that? Nothing. It just needs a little mixing. Oh. Oh. There we go, eggplants all chopped and seasoned. I'm so scared. Oh dear. Wow, that actually looks good. Actually, I'm offended. I just meant, those are some really perfect cubes. <laughs> Did you just eat one of them raw? I was just testing it. They're not good raw, are they? <clears throat> no. No, they're not. <laughs> Sweeter than I thought they'd be, though. Oh boy. Oh dear. I hear him at the stove now. Oh no. The last time I heard sizzling that loud, I was face to face in battle with the East Sphere's explosive. Oh unit. no. That day, I was fearless. Today, I am not. How's it going over there? Going great. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Needs fingerprints anyway. They only get you in trouble. Oh. Just like me for real. Oh no. Beaumont is sauteing the eggplant now. It shouldn't be a difficult job, even for him. 
Worst case scenario, I'll tell Pogo and Samson it's black in style. Your pants sounds a little overheated. You can tell by the sound? Yep. Little snitch will cut you. Oh. <laughs> so ridiculous. Wow, he's so much. I can still help if you want. No, I got it. All right. The book. Charles is waiting. <laughs> Let's read dramatically and wholeheartedly. Oh. Come on. Okay. Fee fi fo fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Is that the white powder you use when you make bread? I knew I forgot something at the grocery store. Note to self, don't eat bread made by Belmont. Out! Why does the oil keep splattering on me? Better be careful. It wouldn't be the first time you stained your tie. I'm not the one who stained my tie last time. In a way, it was you, indirectly. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> I guess you have a point. Hey! Hey! hey. Keep it down! <laughs> hey. Your child is in the room with you! Right! Your baby? You literally have a kid here! This is inappropriate behavior. Oh my god. Yell her too much. Back when Belmont and I were mortal enemies, I knew he was out for me, so I built up a resistance to his poison of choice. Then, when he finally managed to poison me, instead of passing out, I threw up on him. Oh! Oh, thank god. Oh, okay, okay. Huh. Maybe we're the problem. Yeah, maybe- <laughs> Maybe we're the issue. Yeah, um, maybe we're the people that other people talk about. Oh, dear. Oh, no. It's not the most flattering story. I don't tell it very often. Belmont and I are from the North Sphere. The blue tie is a symbol of our citizenship. That's why we have to treat it with respect. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Oh, thank you oh, for the, the, the map and the, the colors. According to legend, the Chicago Underground was founded by criminals who were exiled from Cook County Jail generations ago. Yo, just like in Chicago, <laughs> but like not. <laughs> Our underground world is split into four warring spheres. Wait a minute, those aren't spheres. <laughs> those are- Those are state-shaped. Those are state-shaped. The They're red one kind of looks like Texas. These are not sphere-shaped. I am disappointed. The red one looks like two Texases. Mashed see? together. You see what I mean? Yeah. Kind of beautiful. Yeah. I love the neutral territory being uh, so right. tiny. <laughs> All right. Our underground world is split into four warring spheres. Each sphere has its own belt. Felonious? Felonious. Each sphere has its own felonious specialty. Our sphere specialty is drugs and poisons. When I was a North Sphere soldier in Chemops, we fought with poisons. Hmm. Wow. Belmont is a poisons expert in his own right. He's always had a way of neatly disposing of his adversaries. Sleight of hand drugging is practically a sport in the North Sphere, but Belmont is one of the true masters. Hmm. Our guest of honor tonight, Pogo, is from the surface. He and Belmont are friends, but Samson is from the east, a rival sphere. Oh shit. It's a good thing Belmont and I are on the same side now. He'd never dream of poisoning me again. Wish I could say the same about him and Samson. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm kind of scared now. I'm more scared than I was before. Yeah, now I feel like... Mm, oh dear. This is gonna... Okay. This is gonna come to get us. Oh boy! I see a cloud of flour in the air. You must be working on the lava cakes now. Yay! How does this mixer work? Oh. <clears throat> Why did he... Oh! Oh! Uh. oh. <laughs> Dude! Oh boy. What are you doing over there? Just mixing some cake batter. The lava cakes are a simple recipe with few ingredients. Butter, eggs, sugar, flour, and a ton of premium dark chocolate. Okay, dark chocolate lava cake? Yeah, now that sounds delicious. I want. As long as Belmont actually read the recipe, he can't screw that part up. Theoretically. Oh no. In the end, the cake center should be steaming, a steaming hot, but still liquid. Not too runny either, though. It takes a little precision to get the consistency just right. A minute too short, and the cakes collapse. A minute too long, and you lose the molten center. You know, I never thought about how 
how yeah. complicated or not no. not necessarily complicated but like how much skill needs to go into making a lava cake right because i've not i've never been a lava cake girly but like hmm. hmm i can appreciate that more yeah but this is belmont forget precision i'll be happy if the cakes are even edible at all oh no each cake is a single serving in its own ramekin so they cook fast all you need is 12 minutes or so but damn he's already running behind schedule That sound it's like bubbles. I think it's something bubbling. Oh no! That doesn't sound right. <laughs> I feel a sense of impending doom. I can't ignore it. Something isn't right. I know it. I should check in on him one more time. But I don't want to nag him. I should choose wisely. Oh dear. Hmm. Well, what are you thinking? I guess, at least from my perspective, the ingredients would be more important than the time. I agree. Because it's like, even if he's still cooking when the guests are there. <laughs> yeah, and look, even if he ends up making like a solid cake and not a lava cake, it's okay. As long as it's edible. Yeah, let's do ingredients. I think that's a little more important. Yeah. You're sure you're using the right ingredients? I'm following the recipe exactly. <laughs> hmm. Double check. Yeah. The recipe calls for salt? Of course it does. The linguine would be pretty flavorless without it, don't you think? Oh, no! Oh, oh, no. But you're mixing the cake batter now, not the linguine. Yeah. The cake recipe calls for half a cup of salt? Of course not. Do you see where I'm going here, Belmont? <laughs> <coughs> oh. That container is salt. Maybe you shouldn't keep the sugar right next to the salt. <laughs> Good idea. Ooh, that was a close call. I caught him before he could pour it all in. Wait a second. Oh, oh no! no! <sighs> I am stressed out. It's okay, we have one edible thing. Okay. And it's our little appetizers, because it's not going to be these fucking lava cakes. Let's be so <laughs> Let's be real. Fucking real. These lava cakes aren't going to be... They're going to come out as, like, little blocks. It's our delicious, delicious appetizers. <laughs> you put sugar in the eggplants, didn't you? But wait, no, that's the one thing that was requested. The eggplants were the one... No, he was talking about dick, dude. It's okay. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> about the text thing immediately. <laughs> oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> we're fine. Dick can still be a, a, a served. It's still available. It's still a, a viable option to make the party better. Yeah, <coughs> it's fine. As long as there's negotiation and, and everyone's okay with it, it's fine. Yes, and as long as their son isn't in the room. Yes, let's please move the plant out of the room. Charles, sorry. Yeah, I couldn't remember his name. <laughs> okay. You put sugar in the eggplants, didn't you? What? Of course not! Why would you think that? <sighs> Wait a second. Damn it, you're right. Doshio! Can I fix it? <laughs> <laughs> Dude said doshio. Sorry. Um, if we adjust the other ingredients, add some vinegar and soy sauce, we can make it sweet and sour? Oh! That sounds complicated. Do we have the ingredients for it? Or the time to go back to the store? I don't think so. Shit. Damn it! That's okay. It was just a side dish. We don't need it. We still have the main course. At least I hope we do. Oh dear. And then Jack ran down the beanstalk. But the giant was chasing him. So he... Grabbed an axe. And he started chop... Chopping. <gasps> oh, Charles. Eve. What should I do? We need to stop. This is inappropriate <laughs> for our son. But what if he's sad about the fact that he never got to hear the end of it? Do you think so? No, we need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and that's the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> what do you think, Charles? Eve!
The poor bastard. A few months ago, my financial advisor told me it was always a good idea to have my affairs in order. But I didn't even have my first gray hair yet. I wasn't ready to write my will. Oh. Ouch! Now, I'm starting to see where she was coming from. If I leave- if I live to see tomorrow, I'll probably have my first gray hair. Oh no. Oh no! Uh-uh. Oh. Yep, this looks about right. Oh dear. What the- <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Food's done! Oh. Oh, their poor minimalistic kitchen. Jesus fucking Christ, his tie! What happened? Belmont, move. Let me see. <laughs> Belmont? <laughs> what? How? How? Belmont! <laughs> Belmont, my stovetop is gone! My Dutch oven is launched in the ceiling! What? That's what happens when you fuck up a pressure cooker! What happened? I just raised the temperature a little so the pasta would cook faster. It exploded! It's not my fault! Pressure cookers are tricky, it's really common for them to explode. That's just a regular pot! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Seriously, how? Well, I was running behind schedule. I did the calculations in my head and I knew that I could never get the pasta to cook in time as long as the water could only reach 212 degrees. But then I remembered this chemical compound I used in the lab's college when I was studying drugs and poisons. It altered the composition of the water to push it all the way up to 400 degrees while staying liquid. And you just happen to have this chemical compound on you? You never know when you might need something like that! Back in college, I used it to heat up water for coffee when I was running late in the morning. You did what? That's not the point! Anyway, I added some to the pot, but... I guess it's different when the water has fish and pasta in it. Come on. Why are there vegetables splattered all over the walls and cabinets? Is that the vegetable tray appetizer I already made? No! <laughs> Damn it! <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> I didn't know that would get you so bad. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Holy shit. <sighs> I'm sorry. I might have to put like an audio warning. <laughs> sorry. Um... Uh, yeah. Damn, we can't have anything. But it was in the fridge. It was done. I took it out so I could reach the stuff for the cake. I guess I forgot to, t to put it back, so uh, I got caught in the explosion. I can't believe this. There's no food. Hey, 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 it's okay. We still have the lava cakes. Let me taste that batter. Sorry. <clears throat> I felt like it. What? What? How? How? What? Belmont, this is really good! Oh! Really? It's better than mine. What did you do different? I might have added a little salt before you caught me. If you hadn't stopped me, this cake would be solid salt from top to bottom. A pinch of salt? I knew my recipe was missing something. Desserts are my weak spot because I don't make them often, but this batter is perfect! Quick, put it in the oven before something goes wrong! <laughs> <laughs> but, but- Oh, that's- The it. oven's broken! <laughs> then it's a good thing you preheated it to broil at 550 degrees! <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> dude! What the fuck is wrong with him? <laughs> By now, there's just enough heat left in there to cook the cakes without burning them to a crisp! We have no appetizer, no main course, and no side dish. But Pogo and Samson will be here any minute, and we're going to give them a great dessert if it kills us both. 
For what it's worth, the table is set. Thanks, Belmont. It looks great. I only wish we had more to put on those plates. Hey, it's alright. We still have time to figure something out. As long as Pogo and Samson don't... Get here early. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is fake. What are gay people, like, early? Right, hold on. I feel like... This is Gay people are always an hour late. It's really fucking annoying. <laughs> we should probably get that. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh good, you made it. Oh. <laughs> okay, music change. Hey yo! Ow. Belly button out? Gah! Auga. Holy shit. Meet Pogo and Samson, our guests of honor. Who do you want to be? Um, whoever Samson, right? So that like, uh -huh. cause he doesn't get along with Belmont, so they're okay. probably gonna slay. Yeah, it's been ages since I've last seen them, and I'm really looking forward to catching up. This is Samson, the most powerful man in the East Sphere. He's been a peasant, a king, and everything in between. Wow. My sphere, the North, was built by drug lords and pharmaceutical ex executives. Samson's sphere, the East, came from murderers and militants. You don't want to mess with Samson. He's one of the most formidable fighters in the entire underground. I'm obsessed with him. As for Pogo, he fell into the underground from the surface. He fits in everywhere and nowhere, and he's always getting into trouble. I probably shouldn't tell you too much more about him. You wouldn't believe me if I tried. But, well... Have you ever seen an entire sofa move across the room without anyone touching it? That kind of thing happens a lot when Pogo is around. Holy shit! I'm not saying he's a demon or anything, but I'm not not saying it. As for the two of them together, I don't know what Pogo is to Samson. They're joined at the hip, but they get weird if you ask about oh, it. Oh, just like gay people. <laughs> one thing I do know, no one messes with Pogo on Samson's watch. That's like his little pet. Uh, <laughs> you just call him his pet? <laughs> yes! Not the actual pet? No. Pogo's oh. like Samson's little pet. Alright. <laughs> oh, and how could I forget Annie? She's Pogo's other guardian. No one messes with Pogo on her watch either. <laughs> They're like Pogo's little pets! No. Pet. Shit. No. Pogo's like their little pets. There we go. I know what you mean. Yes. But she's so Look at her! Look at her little ears! Her little feet! Mm. Smile. Oh. I want to grab her. She's so cute. Unless you have just the right tree to distract her. Happy birthday, Pogo. Oh god, I, I have to think of a voice for this dude. Thanks. Great to have you here, Samson. Oh god. <laughs> Wait, can I, get, I just give him a British accent? <laughs> Please do. <clears throat> Nice place. Clean. <laughs> it literally doesn't make sense. <laughs> Belmont, say hi to Samson. <sighs> and hello, Annie. How are you today? <gasps> oh, oh, Annie. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Annie. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> how cute. So, how was the dr- Oh. Wait. Wait a second! Oh, oh. Samson. Did you just track mud on our new rug? <gasps> Merit, your guest's boyfriend just tracked mud all over our rug! I'm your guest too. It, uh, I'm no. <laughs> I don't know. It just doesn't. I don't know. It just really got me. <sighs> also, wait. Look at the little photo. Oh, how cute! Okay. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I'm your guest too. I'm no one's boyfriend, and I did not track mud on your rug. It's blood. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Horny. What? Speaking of mud, how about we leave our weapons in the mud room? Thanks, I'll pass. 
Come on, fair's fair. We locked our weapons away already. You're welcome to pat me down if you don't believe me. Oh, oh, I don't believe you. Hey, yo. Pogo, behave. We really did put our weapons away, Sam said. Oz of your type needs to carry weapons on you. I'm sure you know by now that I'd never poison you. I gave you my word. We'll follow North Sphere etiquette as always. The guest chooses their seat and servings, and the host takes the first bite and sip. <clears throat> I'm not worried about you. He's the one I'm watching. Are you accusing me of poisoning the food? How dare you? I'd never dream of doing such a thing. You should be ashamed of yourself for baselessly accusing me. I don't trust a word that comes out of your mouth. You think I forgot who get? Oh, Whoa. you think I forgot who gave me the scar? Also, Annie's just like sniff, 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 sniff. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, Annie, we do it again, Annie. Annie, do it again. Annie, Annie, please. Annie, please do your little animation. Annie. <gasps> oh, yeah, the little lady. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I really need you clumsy East Sphere oafs to stop walking into my knife. Are you two really gonna fight? Come on, it's my birthday! No fighting tonight. Unless you take off your shirts. This is going downhill fast. I need to keep those two apart. Anyway, come on inside. The table's all set. If you guys are hungry, we can eat right away. Oh, I'm starving. Great, then let's go. Belmont? Pogo, you wanna leave your ferret somewhere? <laughs> yeah. Or not. Annie's welcome to come to dinner. Maybe she'll like the fish. What fish? <laughs> right. <laughs> Come on, follow me. We'll stop in the mudroom on the way. Hey, why is your kitchen curtained off? Yo, don't worry about it. Literally, don't worry about it. Just some impromptu renovations. We took out some cabinets. Yeah, we. Both of us. Both of us took out some cabinets. Oh, okay. You two have never been to our place before, have you? Nope. Only the one time. What one time? Oh, uh, never mind. I've never been here. Hello? Uh, hello? When did you come here? We never invited you. Oh, Belmont, remember that one time with my underwear? What? Pogo, what did you do? Don't tell me. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Don't tell me he snuck in here and stole your underwear or something. No, I came home and there was more of That's it. That's even worse somehow. Yeah, what? <laughs> A lot more. All different types. Wow. Pogo, stop buying underwear for my boyfriend. That was a gift for both of you, you know? Besides, I needed to offload some evidence. Did I mention that Pogo can be a little exhausting? He really is a good friend. Really. He can just be a little too helpful sometimes. In all the wrong ways. And you can't always count on him for- And you can't always count on him- Oh my god. And you can't always count on him being on the right side of the law. When he was a teenager, he lived on the streets in Chicago, and he did a lot of questionable things. Then one day, he fell into the underground. The underground is a world of darkness and danger. Po Pogo dropped in through the ceiling, put on a big smile, and made himself at home. Living in a world of darkness. <laughs> Day, man. Ah! <laughs> no one thought he'd survive down here, but he shocked us all. He may be a demon, but he's our demon. And we love him. Aww. Roll credits. <laughs> Y'all don't have to eat the lava cakes. Yeah. I mean, the lava cakes are good, but that's all we have, so like, don't yeah, worry about it. Yeah. So how's this birthday party gonna go down? Oh, oh dear. You know, the tradition on the surface is that everyone has to give the birthday boy a kiss. I never heard of that tradition. 
<laughs> yeah, I've read a lot of books about the surface, and it's never come up. It's a Chicago thing. It's regional. I'm so obsessed with him. <laughs> oh. He's lying, Merritt. Come on. We can start a new tradition. How about it? Kiss Pogo? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> no, nah, nope, no thanks. Which variation of no do we want? I personally like nah. I was gonna say that too. Okay, okay, well, let's do nah. Nah. Anyway, how about I show you around? I was hoping to give you two some appetizers, but something happened to them. <laughs> but can I interest you in some tap water from, from Subforest Glen? Nah. I'm good, thanks. I want to see the bedroom. Uh, for real? Are we just going to the bedroom? <laughs> oh, okay. Wow, your place is amazing! I hope I can live somewhere this nice someday. What's wrong with my place? Oh, you know, just... The exposed pipes and the concrete floors and the bars over the windows. It's an homage to the underground's founders. They live behind bars, you know. These kids from the surface, they have no taste. Wait a second. Are you two living together? No. I mean, I don't really live in any one place. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, you said there was food? Oh, uh... Yeah, well... Huh. <laughs> You screwed something up, didn't you? Actually, no. Merritt didn't screw anything up. Your chef for the evening... is me. What? Please, have a seat. Can I start you out with... some water? <laughs> Merritt? Cut the crap. What's going on? Ah, uh, you see? Belmont really did cook tonight. The only thing is, we don't have the four courses we originally planned. That's right! Instead, we have one supreme, amazing, mind-blowing course that will leave a permanent mark on you. You'll be thinking about it for years. This just turns into the menu? Yeah. Like, Belmont just <laughs> just becomes the chef he, from the menu? He sets the house on fire and dies in it. <laughs> oh shit, sorry, spoilers. And anyway, watch the menu. That shit is hilarious. What? The menu. Delicioso. Oh. I really like the menu. There's a word for that sort of thing, you know? Trauma? <laughs> I didn't know you were funny. Belmont, why don't you get the food? I'll be right back. The girls are fighting. Right. Now that we're all settled in... Allow me to present tonight's supreme culinary experience. Saucy shrimp crumbles with a white wine drizzle. Oh. Accompanied by fine sliced fresh garlic seasoned with cracked black pepper and artisanal baking powder. I'm just impressed that he can say these things. Right. Um, and yes, this is definitely becoming the menu. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Uh... Did you scrape that off the floor? <laughs> Not off the floor. Why are you two fucking with us? Oh, no. We're not! Why would you ever say such a- I'm sorry, Samson. We screwed up the food. You see, something happened. We had a little accident while cooking. What are you saying? There's no food? No, no, we have food. Just- only one dish survived. It's still in the kitchen. There's enough for everyone. We just weren't sure if you'd still want it. Oh, why didn't you say that? We don't need a four-course meal, especially if the dish that survived is good. Belmont, why don't you go get it? I'll be right back. I have good news for you, birthday boy. The dish that survived... is your birthday cake! Ooh, are these the famous lava cakes? I can't wait! 
But I kind of wish we had a main course. I'm pretty hungry. Hey. I got you covered. <gasps> you brought your own food? Now that is... <laughs> oh, like, that is... That's, that's something. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> you thought I'd ever eat something cooked by him? I know better. He would have poisoned all of us. Damn. How dare you? I think we should just eat the cake. Traitor! What? You got a problem with my aspic? I have a big problem with your ass pick. You can eat your sad fish, Del. I'm having cake. Here goes. The moment of truth. Huh? I can't believe this. This is the best cake I've ever had. It's perfect. Really? Really? Belmont made it all by himself, you know. With a tiny bit of damage control. Sammy, you need to try this cake! Sammy? Aww. Y'all wanna pretend like y'all don't have something? Right! I don't like sweet food. And I told ya, I'm not eating anything as his fingers have been in. I'm telling you, it's really good! I can vouch for his cake too, Sam said. And as you can see... Meow. Nom 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 nom. We're all eating it and none of us, has ke none of us have keeled over. If you tried to poison anything, it wasn't the cake. And the rest of the food didn't survive. Ugh, fine. I'll try it. But just a tiny bit. Well? Fuck. <laughs> Fuck who? Fuck you. Oh. Give me some more. <laughs> Damn. Wow. It feels great, seeing everyone enjoying Belmont's cake. I'm so proud of him for pulling it off. Aww. Is this the beginning of his long journey toward becoming a master chef? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe I don't have to be so scared to let him into the kitchen every now and then. He seems to have a knack for desserts. And that's my weak spot. We compliment each other well, just like we always do. Aww. I think I'll put him on dessert duty for our next party, too. How sweet. Hey, Pogo, it's time for your present! Oh, the birthday kiss? Oh. I can't wait! Let's do it, Sammy! What? No, we bought you something! Oh, you did? It's from both of us, but it was Belmont's idea. He said he knew exactly what you'd want. Oh! Oh dear, what is this? Oh, it's a flashlight. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh, Mary. Oh, oh buddy. You, Mary. Yeah. Hmm. Thanks. He doesn't look as happy as I thought he'd be. Ah, oh, Merit. That's not what I wrote on the list. What are you talking about? It's exactly what you wrote. See, full- Oh. <sighs> what is that? What does that even mean? <laughs> He's so- Oh. Needless to say, Belmont's cakes were a hit. But we didn't have much else to eat, so that left us with extra room for after-dinner drinks. Oh dear. This is where Belmont truly shines. He may be a terror in the kitchen, but he works magic at the bar. Oh! So he whipped up everyone's favorites, and this time he didn't disappoint. So why wasn't he assigned this- Yeah, wait a minute. Well, I mean, we chose this route, but yeah. like- <laughs> Oh wow. Anyway. He even made me a water martini. <laughs> Best drink ever. I felt a lot better after so a few sips. water and liquor? Right. And like, is that an ice cube speared through? I, it, I don't know, oh and I don't God. think I want to know. I'm just happy I got to spend time with my friends. I don't get many days off, so I treasure them. Aww. I especially treasure the time I have with Pogo. He lives an even crazier life than I do, and he never stays in the same place for long. Also, look at the background. They are right. literally this underground. This is fucking gorgeous, though. But whenever he's in town, I'm always thrilled to see him. 
It's been amazing watching him come into his own. When he first dropped into the underground, he was a disaster, always getting into trouble, barely able to fend for himself. But now... Well, Chaos still follows wherever he goes, but he's gotten much better at handling it. I played a small part in getting him into shape, but I can't take all the credit for who he is now. Right, I guess Annie does deserve some credit too. She works hard 24-7 to keep Pogo in line. That's water in your martini glass, isn't it? They have an olive-shaped ice cube. <laughs> yeah. I'm obsessed with him. Dude, you're way too excited about your ice cube. But I'm glad you're excited. You spend too much time stressed out. What can I do? It's my job. Other people's lives are on my shoulders. Yeah, but you've got lots of people who'd lend you an extra shoulder. You know that. Damn, he's right. When did you get so smart? Are you saying I wasn't smart before? I guess you were just exceptionally good at hiding it. Never thought I'd be getting sage advice from Pogo of all people, but he's more perceptive than he looks. You can't say I'm wrong, though. Not everyone cares enough about their boyfriend to blow up a kitchen for him. What? Oh. What? Oh. So you knew about that. Oh dear. I've smelled the fires of hell. Only one other fire can rival them, and that's Belmont's cooking. <laughs> The point is, he cares about you. We all do. Pogo is right, and I can't deny it. Tonight was proof. Belmont knew I was carrying more than I could handle, and he offered to help. Sure, he detonated my kitchen, but somehow we're all still here, laughing and chatting and having a good time. Even if Belmont is a horrible cook, he's never let me down. He knew what I needed, and as it turns out, what I needed wasn't a perfect meal with gourmet food and fancy napkins. It was a great night, and all I needed for a great night was to be with my friends. Say, Pogo, I happened to take a peek behind the curtain, and my kitchen looked a lot cleaner than I remembered. Suspiciously clean. You saw that, huh? What did you do? Hmm... You gotta fight fire with fire! Hey, yo! I bathed your kitchen in the unholy flames. Burned up all the crud on the counters, incinerated your mangled stove and broken cabinets. Put all your plates and spices and stuff back on the shelves. Wow, I... I can't believe you did that. What? You didn't think I could use my demonic powers for good? It's not always easy to tell if you can. Well, you guys worked so hard to give me a good birthday party, and you gave me the best cake I ever tasted in my life. I wanted to do something for you in the return. Now you don't have to worry about cleaning up your kitchen. You'll still need a new stove, though. I can live with that. I feel bad that I was worried about entertaining Pogo tonight. Yeah, sometimes he's annoying, and sometimes he's downright terrifying. But he's also the best friend in the world. A demon from head to toe, except for his heart. Thanks, Pogo. I'm just glad you guys were able to come. Oh, I'm always happy to come. I... <laughs> I'm gonna beat his ass. I love him. Anytime you want me to, just... We were having such a good time. Don't make me kick you out now. Sorry. Poco and Sam's had stayed a lot longer than we originally planned. I'm glad they stayed. It was great to spend time with them. But now they've gone home, and I'm also happy to have Belmont all to myself again. Hey, I've been keeping this in the whole time. But if you took the glasses off of Belmont... No, what are you going to say? And you put them on Merit. Shut up. I think you would find an <laughs> uncanny resemblance... To a certain- I'm gonna cut this out. I'm not leaving this in. <laughs> no DMMD on your channel? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Go ahead, make your piece. What- what does Merit look like? If you took the glasses off of his little boy toy and put them onto his face, he kind of looks a little bit like Trip and Virus. He looks like the third rejected trip and virus, not brother, not twin.
Thanks for cooking tonight. <laughs> You're thanking me for that? Really? Yeah. I know why you did it. You wanted to make things easier for me. I was so wrapped up in making the food perfect that I forgot what really mattered. In the end, I had a great night, thanks to you. And now I have a great story to tell everyone about how you tried to cook pasta and blew up my kitchen. Hey, when you tell a story, make it sound like I'm dangerous. Like I did it on purpose. Like, if someone crosses me, maybe I'll break into their house and blow up pasta in their kitchen, too. I think I can do that. Probably wouldn't even need to stretch, <laughs> stretch out a lot of details. So, it looks like Pogo saved us the trouble of cleaning up the kitchen. That leaves us with some extra time to ourselves. Oh! oh no. <laughs> Oh, what do you have in mind? Do you need me to tell you? You may not know your way around the kitchen, but I think you know exactly what to do in the bedroom. How hey, scandalous! Yo. Hey, yo, get out of here. <laughs> fade to black, fade to black. You're right about that. Let's go. Oh, hey, yo. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Bob. This was a fantastic little game. That was so cute. It was very fun. No, this was the best ending. It really was. Tag yourself. I'm. Ah, oh, shit. They faded. <laughs> anyway, this really was the friends we made along the way. Yeah. It was the so friends beautiful. we made along the way. The ferrets we saw go. Get, 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 you know. Yeah. Um, the cakes we ate. Yeah. What the fuck is on his fork? Oh, that's eggplant. <laughs> I love that. Oh, and he's cradling two of them. Cradling, uh, cradling two what? Eggplants. Yeah, I didn't even notice. He's holding them very gently. Good for him. Everyone has their dishes and the birthday boy. Wow. I love that he was a literal demon. I'm so confused about this world. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I need to know. I'm good. Yeah. Like, I wasn't expecting the... It, the amount of world building, but it was kind of funny. I love that. It was a good contrast to the goofy little, like, cooking yeah, montage. Yeah, this was really fun. Thank you for having me on your channel. I'm sorry I'm... I'm sorry I said that. Yeah, me too. I don't know. I'm gonna decide while I'm editing this if I should leave that in or so not. So this apology might just not make sense at all. I, well, I might not leave it in. <laughs> but... I'm sorry I said that. That's okay. I mean... You, if anyone was gonna bring it Sorry. up, it's you. We were both we were both thinking it. I really wasn't. Were you not? No, until you brought it up. I genuinely <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely didn't even like that didn't cross my he mind. He has the best of the stupid blonde hair and the piercings. No, the I mean dumb like eyes. No, I mean as soon as you said it. Everything but the glasses. Yeah. Anyway, um, do you want me to like link you in here, you know? Like, yeah, you can like, link me in the description. I'm just a little guy. Yeah, I'm gonna link, I'm gonna link this dude in the description. Well, I don't have much on my channel, just me playing some some games on live stream on Twitch. Uh, uh, but there will be more content soon. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why that. Uh, why I did that. You know that's what? not how. That's not who I am. <laughs> you go to the channel and it's just you being like, "Hey guys." That's not my heart. It's me, Ray. No. And welcome to another video. That's not my soul. Um, in the last part. That's not who I am. <laughs> I feel like that's who you are, deep in your core. In the last part, you know I. I talked to my friends. I walked around the school. I. What I, game are you playing? Dang it, Rapa! <coughs> I'm sorry. We, we may have to touch Ding and Rapa one day, but for now, that was cooking with Belmont. Yay! Yay! Thank you for coming along on this wacky little journey. Thank you for coming. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Thanks, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll see you. We'll see you in the God next one. Fucking damn it! I'm so sorry. <laughs> Bye.